Hey guys, Alex and Will here from Stay Frosty Cinema. And in this video, we're talking a bit about something different. Um, this is over Mass Effect 3 comment, uh, gameplay that Alex got uh, very recently. Yeah, but doing the not, weekend challenge. We're not really going to focus on video games. In fact, the, f the main spotlight of this video is upcoming space movies. We're talking about the space themed movies um from 2013 i think to, to all the way just up. anything that's kind of announced rumored. yeah anything that's sort of going on right now that people care about in terms of space movies and mass effect 3 gameplay because there is a mass effect movie mm -hmm. in so production it fits the uh it fits the the, the thing so let's start it off the of, of why the hell would we stay frosty cinema gaming channel be interested in movies well we're very big movie people Mm -hmm. We see tons of movies. Uh, movies are a very big thing. They're like second to video games on our entertainment list thing. Um, yeah, so we see tons... No, I, 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 uh, I prefer Choose Your Own Adventure books. Oh, yeah. Definitely, bro. <laughs> Pop-ups. That's my shit. Anyway, so we see tons of movies, okay? We see lots of movies. And we're very opinionated about them. We saw Hansel and fucking Gretel. Okay, that's yeah. Alex is shaking his head that we saw a lot of movies, and then I just remind. We've seen a lot of movies recently, we've but like, if you recall, if you're gonna like bring up classics and shit, oh no, be no, like... no, 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 we, we've seen <laughs> we've seen a lot of movies that happened recently. Um, mm. So anyway, we're gonna talk about a few of the movies. I've got a few here. We got a list. I got a few here that well, we can, a thumbnail uh, that we can sort of. Uh... So first off, let's start with the most recent first. Star Trek, the next Star uh, Trek, J. J. Abrams, uh, Star Trek right? Into Darkness, mm -hmm, the Star Trek it. sequel is coming out um, this year. Uh, I'm gonna look up when. Alex, did you see the first Star Trek movie? Uh, no. <laughs> I did. I actually liked it. Into Darkness is coming out 2013. When? Uh, uh, pretty soon, isn't it? May. Yeah, May. May. So, okay, so right that's... after Fast and Furious. Yep. <laughs> so Star Trek Into Darkness. After the crew of Enterprise find an unstoppable force. Stop. Of terror within Stop. their own organization. So it's 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 classic Star Trek. I know Captain Kirk. It's, like it's got a... Captain Kirk. It's it's it's. Alec, okay, so he didn't see the original Star Trek. I saw the 2009 one. I actually quite liked it. It's a J.B.J. Abrams film. He's done things like Super 8 and whatnot. It was good. Yeah. Like, it wasn't the best thing I've ever seen, but it was really good for what So I think a lot of Trekkies will have a lot of expectations oh, yeah. for this. But me, I've, I've got, like... Medium expectations. I think yeah. maybe it could get me into Star Trek. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely watch it the does, uh, it does older look very, one before this. It does this. look cool. All right, and then the the most uh, another thing that's absolutely massive news is of course Star Wars. Star Wars seven. seven. Yeah. Now when Disney bought Star Wars, that was the first. I mean, that LucasArts. That was the first thing they wanted to do was bring back Star Wars series. And now they've announced the director will be fresh off of uh, Star Trek uh, Into Darkness, J.J. Abrams. Yeah, so I think he, he's going to... Star Trek is almost going to be like his test run for Star Wars. Well, like he's going to put out Star Trek and, and really Star take Trek the feedback. Later on. Like, well, because and he's he going to apply that to yeah, Star definitely. Trek, he's, he's Star doing, Wars. He's doing something noble because he came out to say right after they announced him, he said, because uh, the original date was 2015, he said, that's not... That's up in the air. He said, because they want to make this as best they can. If they need five years to do that then so be it like this is star wars they can't just rush it out yeah. even disney knows that like they have their like, uh they have the guy who wrote toy story 3 like which... i know a lot of people are criticizing because it's disney they think it's like oh yeah. mickey mouse holding like but if you think about like uh they've got parts of the caribbean okay let me give this to you oh. they have the uh, disney um commissioned the writer of toy story 3 which has 99 percent critic approval on rotten tomatoes um, so they got their best dude who, I mean, if you can write Toy Story 3 and you're an adult, you can probably do a good job of writing anything. So they got their Toy Story 3 guy and okay, he's going to write. Okay, I just have to quickly comment on the gameplay. If you're wondering why it looks like I'm shitting around, it's because I, I was, I was trying to figure out exactly how to use like, uh, sabotage well. So if you're wondering why I just don't shoot at people, it's because I'm sabotaging them. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, uh, they got the Toy Story 3 guy, so probably one of their most talented writers who's going to do this thing. And so um, so that's a strong point. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm as hesitant as anyone would be to find out that a Toy Story guy is I writing like, Star Wars. but it's... The Empire wasn't really defeated after um, they destroyed the Death Star and then killed a bunch I'm of... I'm not going to uh, lie, I haven't seen... Uh, Empire people I haven't seen on, Return of the Jedi uh, the in... the freaking Ewok planet. Oh, oh, that was, oh, that was oh, oh, kind of a dumb ending. So dumb. But yeah, so it, it definitely... Uh, if it's the same storyline, like, will it have the same characters? I almost, like... 
I almost like Han, if they bring back Han Solo, like yeah. how in the future could it be? But I they think have such an expensive be, lore to work with. If Star you think Wars. about like they they're kind of going in like triplets in the chapters. Like the first three are happen recent, and then the next three are like way after the first three. Not way after. It's like really but after right. Luke has grown up, so it could be basically a next the next generation, I guess. So like Han Solo could be old. I I would yeah. like him it's, like I think. Harrison Ford is old. It's so a good idea to if they bring some familiar faces, but the other thing is Star Wars universe is like giant. They have so many things to do, and I think it'd almost be a bit disappointing to see them stay within the same like scale that George Lucas like laid out with the same characters. Like they need to evolve a little bit and, and expand. Anyway, moving on a bit, um, Avatar Two. Now, Avatar, the first Avatar, the more you think about it, the more it just seems like a stupid-ass remake of Pocahontas with blue aliens and lots of explosions, which is exactly what it is. The first Avatar is not good, although it got critically acclaimed because it's actually no. not a horrible film. It's just really overrated. Mm, and in Avatar 1, it's mostly on one planet, so it is interstellar. It's not m much of a space movie, but it's more like a colony. Movie, it is, I guess. It's it's obviously it's force feeding the most obvious political message they could think of. <laughs> Military bad, trees good. That's 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 the movie. That's all the movie is. The bad guy is annoying and unobtainium. Fucking really. Either way, Avatar was cool to watch, and everybody yeah. who saw it liked it only because like, it was I will, so cool. I, I will go see Avatar 2. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I liked Avatar when I saw unless it because it, gets, it was like, so cool. Unless it gets, like, a Transformer 2 ratings on the first day. I don't, think, <laughs> I don't even think that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, uh, so Avatar 2 is something to look forward to. I think that's slated for 2014. Mm -hmm. um, probably winter release, and it's probably going to make a fuck ton more of money. More blue aliens. More blue aliens, more billions of dollars. Um... Next other thing that we don't have any images on or any much information, like, only but just it's confirmed. is um, confirmed. Christopher Nolan, the director of many good movies, including the Dark Knight trilogy, has just signed on to make Interstellar. Now, Alex kept calling it an interstellar movie for yeah, a week. Yeah, I thought he was just going to make it I had to fucking explain movie. to it's you. It's actually going to be called interstellar. interstellar. And they might and change the title. But What it is, though, I read a synopsis on IMDb. Yes. It's explaining the, like, interstellar tra travel theories like wormholes and whatnot. So kind of, I think it's going to be Inception-like, which kind of explained yeah. like, the, dream, the dream stuff. That's the uh, other thing. I'm expecting from Christopher Nolan to do something it, that's less like in space and like the Star Wars sort of sci-fi and more like the Inception sci-fi where mm -hmm. everything's sort of on the, like everything's sort of grounded. Nothing is that far like fetched. It sort of deals with the people in that technology and situation. Mm -hmm. So you're probably not even going to see that many, you know, warp speed things. It's probably going to be um, a smaller focus on the actual technology of interstellar travel and more on the people. Um, but what happened with Interstellar and what happened with Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises is, uh, oh, excuse me, Christopher Nolan and his brother, Jonathan Nolan, Jonathan, not Jonifer. I just combined jo Jennifer and Jonathan. Anyway, Jonathan Nolan writes up uh, his own screenplay, and Chris writes up his own one, usually with David Goyer, and then they come together to find something in between that they all like. Now, um, what happened with Interstellar was Jonathan Nolan originally wrote it, and it was going to be a Spielberg film, but then it was dropped a while ago, and now that Chris Nolan is big, because, you know, the Batman uh, trilogy made $2.5 like, billion, so he's massive now, and... and uh, Warner Brothers is going to give him as much money so, as he needs. Um, but now now he's picked it up and he's going to write his own version of our Interstellar and then him and Jonathan wait, are going to work on it. Spielberg did Avatar, right? No. Uh, uh, who, James Cameron did Avatar. Oh, wait, who's, what's Spielberg? Spielberg is Avatar? producing everything. He made Lincoln. Oh. Okay. Why the fuck did he make Lincoln? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> well, because he... He wanted to. He went to... He audited... Sucks. Not audited. He... I didn't. Went to one of his son's uh, history classes and was like, oh, yeah, Lincoln, they could make a good movie. Yeah, he's wanted to make a movie. Daniel, in, this winter, in Daniel Day-Lewis wants an Oscar. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, So, lots of upcoming space movies. The one I am looking forward well, you, to... We forgot to mention the most obvious one, 
that I thought you, when you said this is pretty much like when when you were bringing up Interstellar, I oh, thought you were gonna bring up about the Mass, Mass Effect, Effect movie. movie. That's what I thought we were gonna talk about Hence that at the, the beginning. the gameplay. Yeah. Okay. So the Mass Effect movie is, I, is in development. is probably the one I'm most stoked for and have the highest expectations for. It. They you cannot don't. blow it. Okay. Let's let's <laughs> let's like let's rehash the uh, video game movies here. There's like Doom, and then there's like uh, Silent Hill. They can. The all problem right. is, and, though, and there's Resident Evil, and there's they all suck. Finding a guy who looks like Shepard or not having Shepard. Or they, Shepard doesn't really have a concrete look. They could totally look. find a guy who looks like Shepard. Yeah, but then is he good at acting? Like, no, Tommy was but, wanted um, a guy who looked like Mark, and he found <laughs> freaking Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> um, but they could, I don't know, Tommy, uh, he looks, he could be like a shaved I Christian think, male. Like, maybe, I don't know. Bruce they, Willis's they, son. The, the in Die Hard, uh, in, die, in Good Days die, die Hard, Good Days Die Hard is, uh, that's, could that's be it. yeah. There probably is a few guys that they could like. Oh, definitely make it look like. But sh I think it, I would like Shepard. I would like, but uh, definitely they need to have Shepard. If they do Shepard, like what do we not know about Shepard that we haven't played? Exactly, they're gonna have to do something. I think they just need so to. So it could throw be Shepard literally into... after the extended so cut and end of Mass Effect Three. Oh, it could uh, be. Hold on, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. After the extended cut in Mass Effect 3, uh, Shepard is kind of alive, apparently. Could uh, be alive. My, my friend uh, played the uh, one that uh, he was kind of alive, and he like he twitches or something his body. So it could be post-ME3. It could be. It could probably be anything, because ME3 and that could, has a big, uh, big... That could be their... Uh, they have a big universe to work with with ME3, too. Game, 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 movie. Yeah, but video game movies are are always never are never but, have never been yet up to par and up to expectations. And there's a World of Warcraft movie who's been announced. They picked a director, really? I forget who, but yeah. Anyways, but yeah, like even if they don't use Shepard, there's still like a lot of lore. Not they enough as like Star do. Wars Seven has to work with. No. But like I love the Mass Effect Three lore. Yeah, Mass Effect it's, World it's lore. It's a really good universe. Lore. Like it's very strong and very potent. Mm -hmm. They can they, do a lot with it. They did a lot, a uh, good job, uh, just like in even in Mass Effect One of just yeah. like laying down the the universe. Um, uh, so so the movie of this uh, batch of upcoming space movies I am looking forward to the most is Interstellar. Now, reason being... Because you're a Nolan fan? Because I am... Uh, no, I'm not necessarily a personal, like, lover of Nolan. You're I just, a Nolan uh, fan. I, I haven't actually seen every movie uh, he's done. I've seen Inception and the Batmans, and that's it. But Bat I Man. think because of, because of what we saw in those, in Inception especially, we know that n he's able, and his writing, his writers too... Uh, like he only ever works with like David S. Goyer and Judge Nolan. What he's able to do is take something that's kind of outlandish, like the idea of Inception, which could have been crazy, far-fetched, and Batman, and put it into a sort of a, not necessarily realistic, but something that you can easily grasp and say, oh yeah, that could happen, even if it couldn't. Like even if there's not gonna be a Batman or you can't enter there's someone's dream. It's not gonna dream. be a Batman. It's not gonna be a Batman. Or you can't <laughs> enter. Not even a quote. You can't enter someone's dream via their bloodstream, obviously. But either way, it may, hey, he may. You don't know what biomedical engineering could come he, up with. He grounds it enough so that you can connect to it, and it doesn't seem that spacey. Actually, like Inception, they could have been floating in in a space station dreamy place, but it wasn't. It was very well grounded, and that's why I'm looking forward to Interstellar because I think it's gonna be one of the space movies that's a bit less spacey. Which is cool. Well, yeah, it's gonna have to do with like the travel, maybe the effects of travel, maybe yeah. like can turn to a like space zombie. I don't know. It'll it'll <laughs> or, In a or, world or you have to like you go through the, the wormhole. Like you could go through the wormhole wrong, and then they I don't know. You could do a lot of things. What movie are you? Like, oh yeah, you said Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Because um, so we're gonna go see uh, Star Trek. Is that yeah. It? Definitely. Definitely. You know what we? You know why we saw Hansel and Gretel: Witch Hunters? There's, because there's an excuse, and it, it sucked, but it was awesome. Um, it, it was. <laughs> it, the reason being, we wanted to see The Last Stand with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Johnny Knoxville, but they took it out of theaters after two weeks. Yeah. Why? Freaking hoe bags. <sighs> no, like no, don't do that. Especially if you have Arnie and Johnny uh, Schwartz, but. Um, we have like a minute left, so let's rehash the movies we've recently seen. Uh, so one's Hansel and Gretel, Zero Dark Thirty. Um, Are you actually doing this? Yes. Um, um, really is not like tip top. I shape. know. When you think about it, uh, uh, <laughs> you're like, oh, ja I saw Jack reach around. Uh, Jack reach around. Uh, 
Oh, I, I did. Oh, I saw Django. He saw Django. I saw. That was a good one. Um, Lots of blood in that movie. Oh yeah, it's Quentin Tarantino. Um, <laughs> um, shit. Oh, there's gotta be something else. I did. I did. Well, anyways. Oh yeah, we. This stopped. is pretty much the end. End of it. And so there. To leave your thoughts about upcoming space movies below. There's lots to talk about. Star Wars to Star Trek to Avatar to Mass Effect to Interstellar. Anything we missed. Anything we too. missed. I, I hope we didn't miss I'm one. I'm sure there's more. Superman. Oh, Man kind of. Man of, Man of Steel, Steel we is slightly space. About, but he does go to space. They showed it. Yeah. Um, Man of Steel uh, is sort of superhero. Semi-space. As opposed to spacey thing. But it's still very there. So comment on Man of Steel. It looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Like, comment. Subscribe. We just fucking told him to comment. Enough! Stay frosty. In a world.